Hey everybody, it's Lindsay Gramont, the Homemade Mommy. I blog over at homemademommy.net and I have a special guest today. Uh, but first, let me just do a quick intro here. Man, you're, you're kind of, uh, let me see if I can get you raised up here a little bit more, Amber. Um, first, let me just do a quick introduction. So again, I am Lindsay, the Homemade Mommy, and you can check out my blog. I blog about real food recipes, DIY beauty, and I also scope about personal development. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm interviewing one of my leaders, Amber Howells. Hi, Amber. <laughs> she, uh, we're on FaceTime right now, so she can't see me, but you guys can see both of us. So welcome, Amber. You um, have an amazing story, and I wanted to share it with everyone. Hey, guys. Okay, so we've got about almost about 100 people in here now. So um, I want to make sure that everyone can go ahead and share this with their followers right now. Share on Facebook. Share on Twitter. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so, so much for joining. Hi. Hey, Allie. Um, hey, Marissa. Awesome. Okay, thank you guys so much for inviting all your followers. This is going to be a really fun story. So I'm going to start um, interviewing a lot of leaders on my team so that you can start to see a lot of great stories um, with how people have been able to transform their lives and not just their financial situation um, with our amazing company. Hey guys, everyone's saying hello to you, Amber. Hi. Hey everyone. Thank you guys so much for joining. So um, again, I'm going to be interviewing a lot of my leaders and Amber is the first one who stepped up to the plate and I'm just so excited because I think your story is so unbelievable, truly. I mean, you have such an amazing heart. You're an amazing leader and I know that for a while you weren't really sure if that was true, but I knew it was true and I loved the spark in you and I loved your smile. I love your amazing devotion to your God and it's just been such a pleasure getting to know you and um, spending time with you and your team and getting to know everyone because you guys are truly just some, uh, some really amazing, amazing folks. Um, so why don't you also introduce yourself and tell folks the name of your team and when you joined our company and we'll go from there. Okay. Hey everyone. So my name is Amber Powell. Um, I joined Young Living in January of 2014. Um, and I really just was looking for, I'd already followed Lindsay's blog for I think two years. Um, at that point following real food, you know, wanting real food recipes and we'd really kind of looking into holistic care and things like that. So I was really looking for ways to get rid of toxins and chemicals out of my home. And that is what um, originally, that's why I originally started with Young Living Essential Oils. And they have been such a blessing for my family. I, um, I have so many testimonies that I could go into. I won't um, on this periscope, but they, they've been huge. They've been huge for us. So our team, or my team, is essentially whole mom. I should say our team because we are a team. Um, and I live in Lexington, South Carolina. So I have a very large team here local to me. But there's also have team in, um, in Tennessee and Texas and, you know, really all over the country. So um, I'm super excited to be here, Lindsay. Thank you for interviewing me. Yes, yes. You're awesome. So when did you join uh, Young Living? It was probably about... Yep, I joined in January of 2014. Yeah, you're one of my original members. I mean, I started in October of 2013, started sharing, and so in January, that was just a couple months in. I think that was the month that I hit silver. So Amber's been around a very long time because now I'm a Royal Crown Diamond, and I was a silver when Amber joined, just to give you guys some perspective. But when okay, you joined... You may have been silver, but for some reason I was thinking executive. No, I was executive when you joined. I hit silver at okay. the end of that month. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. It's crazy to think about that that, <laughs> that you joined. I mean, you have people right now that joined you when you were a senior star or an executive, and, and that's where we were. Yeah. So pretty crazy. Um, so things change a lot um, <laughs> in a couple yes, years' time. So but the funny thing was is that Amber um, used to comment in my business group because she felt sorry for me. <laughs> I did. I, used to, I remember you commenting and asking questions. 
questions and it was like crickets chirping and yeah. I was like oh my gosh I feel so bad like she's asking questions and nobody nobody's commenting so I'd like put my two cents on every once in a while not very much but I would so yeah I do remember that you've come a long way Lindsay <laughs> yes no I try and remind everyone on the team this that you know if your group right now is a bunch of crickets that um, so is mine so everybody starts somewhere <laughs> and, and people are listening they're just not commenting so people are paying attention yes exactly so I appreciate you giving a few comments there <laughs> however Amber did not respond to me when I would private message her so I think we did do we do our a little 20 minute chat or did we you not even do that no no we never did you commented um, asking for people you know wh whoever wanted to do 20 minute chats with you and I think you even tagged me in it asking if I would and I just I never took you up on that no on that offer. cricket so it would be quick when I would try and reach out to Amber <laughs> and actually call her out and ask or private message her yeah. she would never respond so for many many months Amber would not respond to me and she was actually um, someone that I had placed under a very good friend of mine and I didn't know Amber and um, I never would have known that the friend that I put her under uh, who is Jennifer Gilcrease that Amber and she would connect so strongly love and her. Love her. and it just but both of us would try and reach out to Amber oh so someone's asking what the 20 minute chats are so early okay. on when I had first um, hit silver I quickly realized that um, while I had a lot of interaction and I knew a lot of my members in my Facebook group, I, um, oh, she's commenting that she loves you, J J uh, oh, Jennifer, love you. Um, that I um, didn't really, I wanted to know my members better. And so I put the call out there. I, I, um, I basically posted in my groups and sent out an email that I wanted to do 20 minute chats with anyone who wanted to. And about, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, 30 people probably took me up on it over January and February and I got to know a lot of them. And a lot of them are currently still my, my, my biggest leaders. Um, so, but Amber didn't, didn't take me up on that. So we didn't know each other. And so I would reach out to Amber and she wouldn't respond and Jennifer would reach out to Amber and she wouldn't respond. Yet Amber was, was sharing. You were, how many members were you, you were started sharing. Why did you start sharing? Um, I started sharing mainly because I had to tell people about these oils. Like I knew what they were doing for my family. I loved them so much and I knew how passionate I was about them. So when I had friends who would ask me what in the world I was uh, making at home when they saw me making homemade deodorant and things like that, it was just very natural and very easy for me to share with them. But at this time that you're talking about, I just really had no desire whatsoever to really build a business doing this. I was fine with sharing with my friends that wanted to be oily with me, but I had no desire whatsoever. And, and well, it, and it wasn't just the desire to not build a business, but I also felt very undeserving. I did not feel like I deserved the attention of you and Jennifer who seemed so successful. I just didn't feel like I deserved that time to even, I felt like I would just be wasting your time to be quite honest with you. And so that was one of the main reasons why I didn't, I didn't respond. But you grew, I think, to probably senior star executive without talking to us. I think so, yeah, I think so. But Which, I was reading your files, like I read your files, I knew how to strategically place. I watched all of that stuff. It was crazy. It was like subconsciously I knew I was going to build a business doing this, but my heart was telling me, no, you're not going to, like, or maybe it was my mind, probably not my heart. My mind just saying, no, Amber, you're not going to do this. So I was learning from you. I just... I don't know. I was crazy. That's the only thing I, the only way I can explain it. So then I think it was the end of August or maybe beginning of September, all of a sudden Amber appeared. She, you, you just, you woke up or something and you just jumped right in. I think we were having, I was having a, a Ninja Red 30 day challenge yeah. and Amber said, I want to do a video for the challenge and she did this a video and it was like there was Amber and I hadn't really ever spoken to her and she did this really awesome, articulate, fun, amazing video for this Ninja Red challenge and I was like this girl is on is like a little firecracker. I love this. And so then I was like I would not leave you alone. I kept reaching out and, and you did respond and we were able to talk. And, and you never really explained why we, we hadn't talked before, but, um, but you were there and you, you all of a sudden decided, decided that this was time. Is that right? Absolutely. That was, that was it. And that, and I was that around the same time, 
um, that we started planning for winter harvest? A little bit after that. I, a little, bit, a little yeah. bit after that. Okay. Okay. I couldn't remember. Um, cause that was a, that was a huge factor, um, for me planning going to winter. No, harvest I wouldn't have asked you. I wouldn't really help me make my decision even more, but yes, the Ninja Red challenge. I don't know. I don't know what it was. I think it was the help of the oils Lindsay. <laughs> it had to be <laughs> something. You're right. Something just finally clicked with me. And I was like, Oh, this is what I want to do. Like I want to do this and I can do it. And I think that was also a huge part was that I really had a lot of self doubt before and I saw everyone else I saw you I saw Jennifer you know tons of crossline members really succeeding in this and and going for it and putting their fears behind them and so I was like okay I, I can do this too so yeah and you I, I would not have asked you to come to winter harvest had you not done the, the right. video so I saw in you I saw something in you and I just I knew that you were going to going to do this. And so I, that is why I asked. So I, had, I asked him, um, I took about, how many of us went? I don't know, 30 members, 30, 30 people from my team to Winter Harvest. And about, it was probably November time frame that I started inviting for that. And so I invited Amber and I found out after we got back, or maybe when it was, when we were there, that you were really quite surprised that I had invited you to go. And I, I think you had said you'd never been on a plane before. No, well, as a, like as a child, I'd never been on a, an airplane as an adult, so, <laughs> yeah. And you guys believe that? I, she said, yes, I'm going. And then when it was time to book flights and everything, she said, I've never, I haven't been on a, a plane in a really long time. And I was floored by this. So you guys that are out there that think that, that you're not worthy of this business and you have this kind of self-doubt, Amber had this too and, and really stepped out. I mean, to come to Winter Harvest with a bunch of people you didn't know, yes. to fly across the country. You're from South Carolina and you flew all the way to Spokane, Washington, literally across the entire country to to come to Winter Harvest with us. That was a huge shift for you, right? It was a very huge shift. And to be quite honest with you, I, I tried to talk myself out of it. Like I, As soon as I got that email that you had invited me, mm -hmm. I was like, I can't do this. I made every excuse in the book. And uh, my husband and Kayla Arrington, I don't know if she's on here today, but they were like, Amber, you have to do this. You will regret this decision for the rest of your life if you don't do it. So even then in that moment, I was still trying to make every excuse in the book as to why I could not go on this trip. So, yeah. <laughs> so what did you, what were you I thinking? What were you thinking when you were on that flight flying over? You know, she lives in Charlotte, so we flew together, so that made it so much easier. I had her sitting there beside me, so I'd already made a friend. So it was it was easy once I was on the airplane, but that ride to, to the airport, I was an absolute nervous wreck. I had no idea. I was going to meet 30 people who I'd never met before. I felt like I knew some of you just through Facebook, but, you know, I mean, you don't really know someone no. until, until you meet them. So I was a mess. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I was just nervous. I was I wasn't I wasn't nervous about the flight. I was just nervous about being around all of you and feeling like I wasn't worthy enough to be there. That was that's a huge emotional um, blocker that I've had to work through. Was just feeling like I wasn't worthy enough, and so I was just so afraid that I would get there and all of you guys would have such great ideas. And here I am just sitting there like, oh, I don't even really know how I've made it as far as I have, but it was not like that at all. It was a total game changer for me. Just being around other oily angels um, in this business. And we all had the same goals and you know, we were all passionate about our oils. It was, it was a huge game changer for me. Yes, and you were executive at that time, right? I, yes, I was executive and I had one month let, well, I thought I had one month. That's how much I didn't know. I didn't even, I thought silver. Anyways, I thought I only had one month to hit silver. I really had two, but um, I, yeah, so I was executive and was very far from hitting silver at winter harvest and then came back in the very next month I hit silver. So Right. So in January, you were far from hitting silver yep. and then in February, okay. you hit, February it. hit it and then three months later, you hit gold. Okay. Guys, are you hearing that? So Amber came to, you know, and started to feel like she was worthy, had already hit executive without our help, was executive from, I don't know, August through January, and then hit silver when she was very far away from hitting silver in February, and then three months later, she hit gold. So um, huge, huge transformation for you in doing yes. that. And I, I will say also that Amber was very 
whether she knew it or not, she was very wise with how she structured her business and really built a very solid foundation via the rising star um, bonus. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the structure of our compensation plan, but if you are, the, if you go for the rising star bonus, this is how you can hit silver and then very hit, quickly hit gold thereafter. Um, but that's what Amber had, had basically achieved. Yeah. You have a lot of leaders now. I, I mean, you have uh, many legs now <laughs> that can take you to Crown Diamond okay. and, and beyond. I'm so proud of Yes, so very, very exciting. Um, I wanted to ask you a few more questions, though, on what had been going on in your life at this time. So so you hit gold in May, everything's momentum, very exciting, and then all of a sudden things kind of leveled off. So what were you what were you feeling during that time, and how, how to have, have you learned about where your identity is? So summertime uh, was definitely not nice. To me at all as I think uh, it wasn't to a lot of us but yeah so the momentum was there in May right I hit gold I've got this um, and then things really the momentum I felt like dropped things really started to stop I felt like I was in a rut to be honest um, and I really felt like that most of the summer and so when you reached out to me what was that three weeks ago three mm -hmm. or four weeks ago now yes well we started talking about Danny Johnson um, and I had kind of seen you post things in, or, well, I had seen you, not kind of. I've seen you post things. You see everything. Go ahead. I said, you see everything. Yeah, I see everything, right. <laughs> so I saw all of the posts, um, but I just, until when I talked to you on the phone and you were telling me how much it had helped you, and I had seen that change in you, Lindsay. I had seen uh, the Lindsay before Danny, and then now there's Lindsay after Danny. So I had seen that in you. Um, even if we don't talk on the phone every day, I could tell it in your post and I could see how much it had changed you. So I knew that it was something that I had to do. So before Danny, I had kind of gotten to this point where since the momentum had dropped, I felt like, okay, I need to work harder at this. I need to put in more hours. You know, obviously that is why my business is just kind of stuck where it is. Um, I'm going to need to put in more hours. I'm going to have to just tell my husband and my children. I have a husband and two little girls, five and three. And so I'm, I'm telling myself, I'm just going to have to put you guys on the back burner for a little bit because I'm going to have to, I've got to do this. Like, this is what I want to do. And I'm just thinking I'm going to sacrifice just a little bit of time in order to get past this rut. And then, you know, I can go back and, you know, whatever, start back or go back to where I was. So not the case because we all know that it's not like that. It's not like one day you're in the rut, the next day you wake up and you're out and then things go back to the, to the way it was. So when you reached out to me about Danny Johnson, I knew that I had to, I had to take this, you know, do this. I had to take advantage of this and it has been a total game changer for me and I promise I'm going to try not to cry because every day I'm time I talk to you Lindsay I swear I cry <laughs> that and Danny Johnson but um it was you know again I I don't know if I can express how bad I felt every single day when I went to sleep about the hours that I was trying to put into this business and how I was doing it and I felt like my team was unmotivated I felt like I didn't know what direction to lead them to. Um, I felt like they were looking to me for a direction, and I had no idea which way to tell them to go. And so we started with Time Secrets, and seriously, probably within the first 10 minutes, I was bawling like a baby. And I used to tell people that I wasn't an emotional person, but I think I am because I cry all the time. Uh, but I seriously was crying within 10 minutes of this because she, I realized I could not keep going like that and it wasn't worth it. And that is why I wasn't succeeding because I was not following the, the rules and the laws that, that God laid out for us. And so the fact that I was trying to put more hours into it and it wasn't even, they weren't even focused hours. Like I don't even know, looking back at it now, I have no idea what I was doing all of those hours, I was doing things that were not income producing activities. I didn't know how to focus. I didn't know how to schedule my time. And the last thing that God wants us to do is to put our, my husband and my children on the back burner mm -mm. for my business. And so that was a total game changer for me when she showed me how to cut my hours back and put him first, then put my husband and then put my children next on the list and then work like I that was just unheard of for me I come from a family you work that's what you do you work to make money 
and that's how you live. And so for someone to tell me to actually cut my hours back. A lot. Go ahead. A lot, right? Cut it back a lot. Oh, yeah, a lot. And I mean, I, I don't know. I've never really logged my hours. So if I were just guessing, I would say I was probably putting in like, I don't know, maybe 40 hours a week sometimes with Young Living. But really, when I look back, I'm like, what in the world was I doing in those hours? Like, I just, I wasn't, I was considering that working on Young Living, but I really don't think that I was doing much working at all. And then I also worked one day a week at the hospital. So, you know, definitely work was just the top of my priority list. Um, yeah. And everyone else, like my husband and my children, were at the bottom. And so that was a total game changer for me. Then we watched War on Debt. You know, I purchased War on Debt. That was huge for me, too, because I, if I can't manage what little bit I have now, he's never going to bless me with more. And I thought that I was a pretty green and, you know, green person who recycled things. And I felt like I didn't waste money until after I watched War on Debt. And I was like, wow, this is definitely, no. Like, I was completely wrong. I'm so wasteful. Um, and just really had no idea. Like, she helped me see how wasteful we were, so... Yeah, amazing. Um, your story is, I think, um, so telling of many people in this business, right? So you, as you yeah. grow and you hit silver and gold, you can kind of do some of those things on your of your own strength. But after that, you right. cannot do this business of your own strength. You cannot strive for these bigger ranks. Um, or you're really going to burn yourself out and you're going to do it in a way that is going to burn your team out and you're going to end up going backwards. And, um, well, and that was, you know, that was another thing I realized I was not being duplicable. You know, we always talk about in this business, you have to be duplicable. That's not duplicable. When my team looked at me and they saw me on Facebook 24 seven, as soon as someone asked me a question, I felt like I had to respond right then or, you know, constantly. I just, they just saw me working nonstop. And then they, I'm sure they were thinking to themselves like, oh my gosh, when are you spending time with your family? Like, do, do you even know them? And in reality, looking back, I had started to very much drift away from them and really didn't know them much at all. And so that's not duplicable. I don't know many people. There may be a few in this world, but I don't know many pe people who are willing to do that and sacrifice that and want to work that many hours. So here I am telling people, you know, th this is amazing. The income that you can make with Young Living is absolutely amazing. Like, don't you want to do this? And then they look at me and see how I'm doing it. That's not duplicable. No one wanted to do that. Mm-mm. <laughs> mm, -mm. No. And, um... You guys, I mean, who are listening out there, I hope that you're really hearing this because really you should be able to do your business, whether it's Young Living or any other company, um, in 10 to 20 hours a week. Yeah. And, you know, if you're listening right now and you're shocked by that, give me your most shocked emoji. Um, okay. but, but it is true. I have cut my hours back. My team is starting to cut their hours back. Those that are, are listening, right? Those that are yeah. reading the posts yeah. and, and, um, and paying attention are and her, sorry, I've got Evan in the background. You can wave hello, honey. <laughs> um, so, um, you, yeah, people are giving shocked, shocked faces, but, um, but when you cut your hours back, you focus on the right things. So now what do you focus your time on now? Wow. So now my time is definitely, you're talking about my work hours, right? Yes. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, my time is focused on income producing activity. So getting out there and talking to people. Talking to people. <laughs> yes. Talking to people. Not on Facebook, <laughs> real people. Like, Real people, right? Not on Facebook. Right. Real people, yeah, not on Facebook, like out in the world, like actually meeting people and talking to people and forming them. For those of you who have listened to anything about from Danny Johnson, you know exactly what forming is, but just making friends. Um, and, and that was another huge thing for me. It was almost like Danny gave me permission to be friends with people, not just go out and find people because I want to bring them in and either, you know, introduce them to these oils or introduce them to the business side of Young Living. Like she gave me the okay to actually go out and make friends. And so that is what I try to do 80% of my time, you know, go out and find people and, and just make friends, um, build that community um, and then the rest of the time I spend, uh, you know, occasionally I have to fix some things for my team, you know, as far as, um, you know, errors or whatever, you know, having to call custom, um, member services and things like that. But for the most part, that's, 
that's what I'm doing now without actually talking to people. And so ha friends. have you um, have you seen your new member enrollments then go up? Yes, my new member enrollments um, last month, I've kind of been in a rut where, oh my gosh, there were some months where I didn't enroll anyone at all. And so last month, I think it was, uh, I think it was three, which That's is amazing. a lot to me considering yeah. it had dropped to zero. So, <laughs> and those were all new friendships that I had formed just from using form and being, you know, feeling like it was okay to actually go out and, and speak to people. So, and now I have new friends, new amazing friends that, that I've gained from this. So, yes. Someone's asking, where do you talk to people? I mean, th guys, there are people everywhere. <laughs> I mean, everywhere. I mean, kids' birthday parties. Like, that was huge for me. Like, honestly, a lot of times I would not RSVP to them because I didn't feel like going to them. But I'm like, gosh, this is a great opportunity, number one, for my kids to be out socializing and, you know, making friends and for me, too. So, uh, kids' birthday parties, um, you know, out exercising, everywhere. You, you see people all the time. I mean, every single day, unless you're a hermit and you stay in the house. And if right. you are, then I recommend you get out and go make some friends. And you can never judge who you're seeing, right? Because, I mean, no. people that you see, I mean, yeah. every one of them That's need our fair. help. It's not mm. fair for you to judge someone and just automatically assume that they wouldn't be interested in, in essential oils or interested in, you know, generating an income and having financial freedom and time freedom. Like that's, you can't do that. If you judge people, then you're going to be judged also. And mm -hmm. so you, you can't do that. Yes. And Other I mean, that's a, learn. that's a huge part of all of this is you reap what you sow. So okay. if, if you, um, if you sow judgment, you're going to be judged. If you sow distraction and working long hours, then that's what you're going to, to reap. And so um, so this is an amazing, amazing story. A lot of people are asking a ton of questions on here. So um, is there anything else you want to add about where you are and where you think you're going to get to now and, and where your identity is now? Oh, yeah. Um, I can see it already. I can see the momentum. It's already back up. Um, I can, it's almost like a fire has been lit underneath me and my team. Um, I am in such a better place as far as my relationship with God and my relationship with my husband, my relationship with my children and just how I view this business. Um, you know, it had kind of gotten to the point where I almost resented it because I saw the road that I was heading down and I saw how, um, it was affecting my relationships with everyone else in my life. And that has changed. I mean, the, the last three weeks you can ask my husband have been, completely different and I don't have uh, mommy guilt anymore because I am I'm focused on my family when I'm with them and then I'm focused on work when I'm doing work and so it's just yeah seriously Danny Johnson her training has really really changed me yeah that's awesome that's awesome I mean I think what would you tell folks out there who are wondering about they're asking all kinds of questions that could be answered by going and plugging in to this training. So um, what would you say to people who are feeling like um, they are struggling right now, have all these questions about how to build their business? What should they do? Yeah. Um, she offers the free 30-day boot camp, which has been huge. I'm actually doing that with my team right now. I think we are on day, set, day eight now. Um, and that's free. You can just go to dannyjohnson.com and sign up for that. No, yeah, oh, no, smarter, smarter Networker. Smarter yeah, smarternetworker.com. Yeah, smarternetworker.com. And you go on there and you sign up for it and they email you a call to listen to every single day. She has so many tips and just her training is just amazing and the wisdom that she has. Every call I'll listen to, I'm like, man, she is talking to me. Like she, <laughs> she knew exactly what I needed to hear today. So I highly recommend that. Um, obviously, I highly recommend Time Secrets if you feel like time management is a part of why your business isn't growing. If you feel like you need to learn how to focus on things and you need to prioritize, Time Secrets um, is definitely one that I would recommend also. Um, and then I've done War on Debt. I just talked about that, which was huge for me. And then also the the bundle package that if you're in our Oily Angel um, Connections group, I know Lindsay's posted about this several times, and you can probably just type in the search box bundle, and it would probably come up. But that, um, I'm on CD7, I think, for the second time. Um, you know, there's like 11 yeah. hours worth of training that you can listen to, and I'll listen to those in my car 
Um, I try to listen when I don't have my children with me. And I say that because when you listen to this, to any of her stuff, I want you to focus. That's the whole purpose. Don't try to listen to it while you're, you know, driving down the road and you've got your kids singing Old McDonald in the background because you're not really going to be able to pay attention to what she is saying, saying. The goal is to listen to the stuff and learn how to apply it to your life. So definitely the 30 day, 30 day boot camp is probably the first um, the first step I would say to take because there's just so much information in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you so much. Does anyone have, uh, we've got just a couple minutes left. Um, do you guys have any questions for Amber? I'll let you guys jump in with a couple of questions here. A lot of people are saying this is very helpful, so that's good. And then when we, when I close, I will give you guys some links on how to, um, we'll wrap this up with um, how you can get access to a, a lot of this training. Um, and then you are going in January to um, her in-person event, right? Yes, absolutely. Going to First Steps. And I already have um, five on my team that have purchased tickets and several more who are, are going to purchase tickets. And I'm really excited to grow and learn with them and just actually get that direction that we we've needed for quite some time on how to be successful at this and um, have financial freedom and, yeah. and the time freedom too. So I'm yeah. so excited. I, can't, I wish it was tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie. I know. I know. So um, if you guys are curious about First Steps and, and going to a live event with Danny Johnson, um, you can actually join a webinar encore that they had last week tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. Just go to smarternetworker.com forward slash Danny Encore, D A N I Encore, and you can uh, check out a webinar that Danny did last Wednesday, and I was also on it sharing my story. Um, it's a couple hours, it's amazing. All of you guys who are curious about Danny Johnson can go on that tonight and learn all you need to know about her because you will actually see her talking. Um, and you'll get to hear my story as well because I was on that at the very end. It's a couple hours long, so budget your, your time tonight to, to listen to that. And share it with your teams. I mean, yeah. share it with your, with your members if you're with Young Living or whatever business you're with. Um, share it with your teams for them to watch that also because I know that's when several of my members actually purchased their tickets was after watching after watching yes. the webinar. So it was, it was amazing. Okay, so someone just asked, do you still think home classes are effective? I'm not sure. We, we, didn't, we didn't say that those weren't, but um, you yes, can answer that, Amber. Effective. Yes. <laughs> the answer uh, is yes, you, most you're effective. You're out talking to people, and Danny will teach you this. I mean, when you're out talking to people, you, you need to have something that you can invite them to. So absolutely, home classes, yeah. I don't think I could build my business without them. That's for sure. Yeah. Someone else asked what your favorite oil was, and then I missed uh, um, some of uh, the other right questions now, here. It's probably believe. Believe. Uh, believe, and I love to put it on the crown of my head. Um, and I've got it right here. It's a lot of motivation. <laughs> I just pulled my believe out. I actually have it on my desk. <laughs> yeah. It's an amazing blend. Uh, I love to put it on the crown of my head. Is that where you put it, Lindsay, or do yes. you like to just diffuse it? No, I, I diffuse it, but also put it on the crown of my head, too. I like yeah. that. Yeah, someone just said thanks. Okay, so there was a couple other questions that I might have missed, so you can type it in again. Um, if not, I'll go ahead and start wrapping up here. Let's see if, okay, Amber gave, oh, so, you, oh, Amber, they're saying that you gave them a sample of that at their vision board party. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, anyone else have any questions before we close out here? Closing sales without being pushy. Okay, again, go and listen to Danny listen Johnson. And yes. The script book. I mean, the script, the script book that's in that bundle package yes. um, also helps with, with things like that. So. Yeah, Danny is her her true heart is is not at all being pushy. Um, you guys, if you are thinking that um, DannyJohnson.com and SmarterNetworker.com, if you think that um, doing sales is pushy, then that is a very amateur way of doing it, and that is not what she teaches at all. So there's a product called, um, well, really the Home Success Bundle is going to teach you all of that. It comes with um, 10 hours of bonus content if you buy the Home Success Bundle at SmarterNetworker.com. 10 hours of bonus content and then 11 hours on the CDs that come with it as well as the script book. Um, and that has another, I think, hour of training on it as well and the CDs. Um, so it's, I don't know, it's like 30 hours of training with that one bundle and it's amazing. So, Lindsay, can I add something for those yes. who are on the fence about not purchasing um, 
some of this material because of the cost, because honestly, I think that's probably why I didn't, you know, you've been doing this, what, since for several months and yeah. been posting about it. And I would look at it and I just never purchased it because I looked at the price and I didn't see the value in it, I guess. But after doing this now, I'm not lying to you and I don't have, you know, hundreds of thousand dollars in the bank, trust me, but I would pay 10 times. Uh, what I paid for all of those things that I mentioned today and all of this training because it is worth it. Like it seriously has been life changing for me and I don't even want to think about where I would be at five months from now had I not actually done this. So I just wanted to throw that out there for those who aren't purchasing this because they don't see that it's an investment in yourself. And she talks about that in her training. You, This is an investment you're going to make in, your, make in yourself and what you get out of it is going to be, you know, tenfold. I mean, do it. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> That's the only advice that I have. It's amazing. Yes. Um, someone's asking if you don't have a team and no builders, is it still valuable? Yes. And I want you all to know that First Steps is not a network marketing um, event. You go there. She does not one time mention network marketing. It's for anybody who is in any, in any kind of business. And it's really more about success in life. I go to First Steps not to grow my business. I'm already a Royal Crown Diamond, guys. I go to help my team to build theirs. And you know why I go? So that I can be a better wife and mother. And I also want everyone who's listening to understand that any products you buy from Danny Johnson and any event that you go to, 100% of the cost of that product goes to the poor. That's why they cost money at all. Otherwise, she would just give it away. She has um, an organization called kingsransom.org. You can go and check it out. And she builds homes in Nicaragua. So. She does not earn her money from doing the products or the events. That is not where she earns her money. She earns. She has already made her money. She's been in the business for 30 years, and she has real estate investments. And you know, she just does this because this is her gifting from God, and she feels called to do it to continue to do these trainings. So, personal development is hugely important. However, what I will say is that for many years, I have been looking for a great personal development platform to share with my team that is very that doesn't sow distraction. You can get very distracted reading different books and watching 30 minute YouTube videos or five minute YouTube videos um, and not actually implement anything. And this is the first time that I have come across a trainer that yields really big results. And I will tell you guys that of all my team and all the many months that I've been doing Jeannie Johnson, when they last month when we all committed to my main leaders committed to actually going through and spending about $500 on three different products and we went through them all together. So they all invested $500 and guess what? They sold stuff in a garage sale. They ate out of their pantry for a week. Everybody found that $500 in a different way because nobody had the $500 just sitting around ready to invest in themselves. Um, they, they felt the pain and they did it. But now that we have done that, this month, you guys, our, per, our enrollment, new member enrollments are up like 25%. That's huge. That's huge, okay? I have shared all different kinds of people for many years with my team, but nothing has yielded the kind of results that this is. So um, again, to wrap up, uh, thank you so much, Amber, for being on. I love your story. I really love you, and I love your team, and I'm really excited to see um, everyone. I mean, I have someone, you guys, I just hit Royal Crown Diamond. The first note I received, a congratulations note in the mail, was from someone from Amber's team. A handwritten note. So, so nice. Do you know how amazing that feels? It feels amazing to me, and I know that it felt amazing for her to write that. Um, so go to either dannyjohnson.com or smarternetworker.com. The products we talked about today were the Home Success bundle which you can find on Smarter Networker and then also the Time Secrets product and War on Debt and then tonight the webinar smarternetworker.com forward slash Danny Encore and you will learn all about first steps to success and you, we hope to see many of you there. I don't care if you're on my business or not. The person who shared with me, Krista Smith, is I'm not in her downline and she has helped me tremendously in my life. So I could never um, express my gratitude for all of you guys and for those that value themselves enough, like Amber here, to, to dive into this and to really do it. And the only thing that's holding you back is you. And I know that all of you will benefit from this no matter what your business. I don't care if you're in network marketing or you own a gym. Um, you will benefit from these materials. Thanks, you guys, so much for joining. And have a wonderful day. Bye, guys. Bye.